Vegan land. La Donta. These are really posh. Yeah. Any cheeses that get left behind? 15%? Amazing. Anti gaspillage. Amazing.
fall. For your vegan pets. Bless you. And they have a whole section of vegan supplements, which is awesome because there are certain ones like DHA and EPA that are actually really hard to find in the shops. I've been ordering them off of Amazon and it's been like a hell of a journey to try and get them. So it's wonderful to see that they're right here. What do you have there? I have a matcha latte that they've made for me with uh, oat milk and soy milk, a mix. Whoa! Mm, with no sugar. Oh, well, that's nice. It's strong enough. I mean, nothing's ever strong. No. No. But I love how crunchy it is. It's like yeah. a big And it's nice. I mean, it's not extremely hot. But then that's fresh for you. Mm, it's really good though. It's nice and um, pure. Okay guys, what you've all been waiting for, and me as well. Wow, what is this? This is a peanut butter chocolate fudgy bar thing. Wow. Mm. Louis <laughs> into it. Uh, wow. <laughs> Wow. That is so rich. Yeah? So it's like chocolate fudge and then butter, peanut butter on top? It's like ganache. Oh. A salty peanut butter top. Wow. Sounds incredible. It is really incredible. The only thing I wish is that there weren't peanuts, like, because I'm not chunky. <laughs> I'm team creamy. Team creamy. So I wish that this were creamy and not chunky, but wow. Okay, I'm cleansing at the moment, so I can't have the amazing looking chocolate fudge peanut butter Anne has to take her for the team. So I am um, just com comforting myself with a lovely pot of white tea. And this one is absolutely delicious actually. I think it's probably the most delicious white tea I've ever tasted, and I'm a big fan of white tea. La Part des Anges, and it's by Kodama. And it tastes kind of caramelly, and it's got um, like puffed uh, sweet corn in there. Kind of Ooh, weird. Really? But it's, it's really good. Yeah. Ooh, I have to try that. As soon as you said puffed sweet corn. Yeah, it's like it's an experience. It's mm. really um, a one off, I'd say. Mm. So it's making me feel better about the fact that I can't have cake. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> we have to talk to you about this lovely pot. Oh, yes. Like, how often do you get a pot like that in a cafe? Usually it's like a tiny little minuscule, like, metal thing. Loose leaf, guys. Loose leaf. So I'm gonna try the seitan because I can't help it. Mmm. Okay. Oh, it's like grilled. Ooh. What's the sauce like? Delicious. Ooh. The seitan's like crunchy. Mm. It's so good. Ooh, and the potatoes. So you can try this, Chloe. So am I. <laughs> this is like a true test of your commitment <laughs> to your clean, clean out. <laughs> so, this is like a bowl of vanilla. <laughs> okay, I've got a Yumi La Claque. Uh, it's a shot of juice and it's um, apple, ginger, and lemon. So since it's a shot, I guess I'll just like down it in one. Mm. <laughs> that is zingy. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. It's like um it's like an espresso, like a healthy espresso, I'd say. You're an inspiration for me. Mm, so good. This one. L'Etincelle by Yumi as well. It's got carrot, uh, pineapple, turmeric, lemon, and apple. It looks really zingy. Mmm, oh, 
it's really good. You can really taste the turmeric. Ooh, yeah, this is good. Mm. Shall I get it? I'm going to make this one last. Oh, <laughs> Alors en fait, on voulait créer un endroit où on pourrait faciliter la vie des végans, c'est-à-dire qu'on réunirait tous les besoins des végans du quotidien au même endroit. Et ce serait aussi un endroit un peu feel good, où on pourrait rentrer et être sûr que tous les produits soient en accord avec nos valeurs, parce qu'on a des critères assez exigeants sur les produits. Une boutique 100% sur de panne, tout euh, en accord avec des valeurs euh, éthiques, sociales, environnementales et animales. Et il y a une ambiance accueillante, bienveillante. Et du coup, à terme aussi, prouver qu'on peut être vegan au quotidien, sans s'embêter, en se faisant plaisir et sans que ce soit trop compliqué. Donc. Ouais, ah, ouais, même une majorité, moi je dirais. Il y, a, il y a beaucoup de curieux, ouais. Euh, tous les jours, des gens qui passent. Euh plus ou moins par hasard et qui, qui rentrent sans savoir ce que c'est, qui nous demandent c'est quoi le concept. Du coup on leur explique parce que les gens n'ont pas l'habitude de trouver dans une boutique d'avoir une épicerie et des vêtements et aussi un café. Ça, ça les intrigue beaucoup, il y a beaucoup de gens qui viennent assez curieux et ils trouvent ça génial en fait de pouvoir découvrir plein de produits qu'ils ne connaissent pas et d'essayer des nouvelles choses. En fait, pour nous c'est l'occasion un peu de, de parler aux gens, de leur expliquer ce que c'est, le véganisme, pourquoi, comment. C'est chouette, hein? Je change le monde déjà petit à petit à Paris. Un petit peu, ouais. <rire>